Well, barcodes are very ancient. I mean, I think the Egyptians invented it, right? Like they made those little drawings and that were the barcodes. Is, is that not right? Um, but they are still on all of our products, all of our things. They're still very much used. We have new versions with QR codes that you can actually use, which holds a little bit more data. Um, so you know, that the, the summary is barcodes are here to stay. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how easy it is to scan barcodes in your Xamarin Forms application. Let's go. I have created a file new project. So this is just a default Xamarin Forms template at this time. Um, and we're going to add some barcode scanning to this. So um, let's just get rid of all of these labels. I'll keep the header because, you know, it looks nice. Let's uh, make this um, barcode barcode sample. There we go. So that it's relevant to our application. And um, actually, I'm going to stop this for a second. So uh, we can add the right NuGet package. So that's the first thing we need to do. And we're going to look for uh, zebra crossing, so zxing. Um, and it's going to come up with zxing.net.mobile.forms. That's the one that you're looking for for Xamarin Forms applications. So there's a variety of other things here. If you were creating other applications and you found this episode, um, please find the one that is specific to um, your needs. So I've also checked this pre-release packages right now so that it, we can install the new 3 uh, beta 5 pre-release, uh, which has a lot of stability fixes um, over the one that that is in stable right now. Um, so let's go ahead and add this one. We're going to add this to all of our projects right here. And after that's done, we just have to add some uh, small lines of initialization code to initialize this new control. So let's go over to the app delegate for iOS first. And we're just going to go in here and say uh, zxing.net.mobile uh, forms iOS platform um, in it. So that's all for iOS. That's all we need. So we need to do the same thing for Android. And if you're using other platforms like UWP, uh, macOS, you also need to have some initialization lines in there. So be sure to check that out in the uh, readme file on the repository. Um, and for Android, let's do that as well. We're going to go to the main activity and somewhere around here, there's some other initialization lines. Um, so let's just add the same line basically. Um, so .NET mobile forms Android platform init. That's it. And um, what ZXing does, well, what this plugin does is also handle the permissions for you. So it will also handle, um, yeah, the permissions uh, uh, that are being asked by the user, like, hey, do you want to use the camera to scan barcodes? Um, and we're going to add that here. So um, we're going to add a little line, just like the one that's in here already. Uh, and we are going to say global. So this is all found in the readme. So it's probably better if you just uh, copy and paste this instead of trying to type this yourself. But you know, it's good to um, get a little typing action in here. So uh, let's just do that. Request code. And the other thing is permissions and grant results. So there we go. That's all we need for the permissions on Android. Um, and for iOS, we also need to add the thing to uh, the info plist. So we also need to request the permissions. And a way to do that on iOS is by adding an entry to the info plist. So we're going to uh, double click. Then we get the visual ed editor uh, in the info plist file in Visual Studio. And we're just going to scroll down here and going to find the uh, privacy ones. And we're going to set the privacy camera user description. So, and we're going to set that uh, this app wants to scan barcodes. There we go. Then that's all set. So now we have all the prerequisites in place and uh, we're able to implement the actual barcode scanning. So let's go back to our main page example. So what we first want to do is add the XML namespace here at the top. So um, let's just do that XML and S. I'm going to just name this set xing. It can be anything basically. So if you want to do um, something with barcodes, that's fine too. And we're just going to say CLR um, 
namespace is going to be zxing.net.mobile.forms. There we go. Um, and it already fills the assembly as well. So this is all fine. And now we can start looking for our control that we need. So we're going to say zxing and we have the scanner view right here. So um, if we do this, and there's one actual thing you need to do and that is saying is scanning is true and this is basically all you need to get the uh, barcode scanner going so let me just run this so you can see there we go our app is running and you can see it immediately asks us for permission for the camera so um, please keep in mind that you have to run this on an actual device the uh, simulator does not support any um, camera action so you want to do this on your real device so you're seeing my my real device now on the right I'm going to tap OK and here we go here you can see my keyboard and um, now when I come up with a barcode it does nothing yet that's still something that we need to um, implement so let's go back to our code we're going to put my phone down here for a little bit and let's do something actually with um, the uh, barcode uh, result. So what we're going to do is we have an event here, which is the on scan result. And we're going to create a new event handler. And whenever we go here, um, let's just add a label as well. So we can see um, what the result actually is. So we're going to add an additional label here. And I'm just going to give that a name so we can um, make a reference to it scan result text and let's keep it at that let's copy this name I'll go to the code behind and the important thing here is that whenever you want to so the scanning happens on a um, background thread so whenever you want to post something back with these results you have to make sure that you're on the main thread um, something that is built into forms is the device dot begin invoke on main thread so here we go and uh, you can do something like this and then we can here say uh, this label dot text is going to be our result um, dot text and you can see it has a lot of other things so actually let's expand this a little bit uh, make this result dot text plus a little space and then we are going to also add the um, type of this barcode whoops then I need to do that as a string so um, type there we go and we can say result dot uh, barcode format here we go um, the two string will be figured out automatically but let's just add it and to finish this we are going to do this okay so now whenever we scan a barcode we get the actual um, result and we also can see uh, what kind of type it is so um, again let's just run this and see if it actually does the thing that we expect it to do and if we now go over to um, this barcode again it takes a little time to focus and there you can see at the top um, it says what the actual value of this barcode is and what type of barcode it actually is so um, it detects that automatically so if i go over to another screen that i have right here and i've generated a qr code um, then you can also see that it uh, at the top again uh, it says please subscribe which is very convenient because please subscribe to my channel if you like this um, and it says it's the type of uh, barcode is a qr code so uh, that's pretty awesome and that is how easy it is to implement barcode scanning in your application now this is just to get you started so there's a lot more possible with this library and with the uh, zebra crossing library um, but you can also do this on android of course i didn't show you that but the code is in a repository that you can find in the links below um, while you're liking and subscribing you can go to that link as well um, and there's much more that you can do. You can do this also on UWP. Um, so that is very nice. Uh, go check it out. There will be follow up videos probably. So if there's any specific case that you want to know about barcodes, um, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, I already mentioned, please like, please subscribe, please do all the things that you expect to do uh, from someone on YouTube. And I will be seeing you for the next episode.